Hi guys, it's Bill with Media Unlocked and we've been shooting macro this month because it's cold and snowy and we've got epic ice storms out there. So, well, I'm here. I've got my platy pod. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. David is behind the camera. What's up, guys? All righty. Well, you know, David, go away. Just, just leave. Go, 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 go. I got this from here. I <laughs> see I'm not really a video guy, but I have got here the Platypod Max. Now this comes from our friends at B&H. Thanks so much for sending it to me for the month. Um, I've had a blast with this thing. They portray themselves as another kind of tripod. And what it is, is a stability system that is designed for macro photography. Now this particular kit, and they've got several, this is the Pro Max kit. So it came with the Platypod and a ball head and two sets of goosenecks, two lights, the batteries for the lights, and the atom clamp. It came all of this in one kit. It comes in at a little over 500 bucks for the whole thing. It really, really will change what you shoot with macro. Now just to show you the parts, again, the ball head, this is the basic platform. All of this works together to help you get close to your subjects. Now, I'm gonna slide all of this kind of out of the way and we'll show you what the parts are as they're important. But the Platypod itself is a sheet of aluminum. It is very, very well constructed. It's heavy. You notice it's got these little four legs on it. You can adjust them, they're screw. Watch out, by the way. This thing will dig in and it hurts. Trust me on this. Don't ask me how I know though. Um, in fact, a lot of times I've been using it the other way around because I don't want to dig into my table. Um, this is really straight. It's, it is very strong. It is not going anywhere once you get it locked down and adjusted. You have a standard uh, ball head here. This one happens to be from Oben. It is not particularly fancy, but it really doesn't have an awful lot to do other than just get your camera up just a little bit more and make it easier to put it on. Arca Swiss here on the top, standard controls, nothing of any importance to talk about. The kit comes with two LED lights, diffuser, barn door, controls in the back for temperature, color, uh, power, things like that. You can use these as handheld or they screw right onto these little goosenecks. The goosenecks will in turn screw right into the platypod. They screw in right here where this leg is. What you want to do is move one of the legs here so you have three. That leaves you two holes here. The goosenecks just screw right in there and then you can adjust them to do whatever you want to do to focus your light. Now, when you're shooting macro, of course, you know that light is the problem. The closer you get your lens to the subject, the more light you're going to need for a lot of different reasons. You've got depth of field issues, but also you're blocking a lot of the light from the ambient surroundings. So you really need to add external light if you're shooting macro. These are one convenient way of doing it. Another convenient way believe it or not, is just the old-fashioned flashlight. I bought two flashlights off of Amazon. They are about 30,000 watt seconds. They're huge in terms of flashlight power. And with those, I can do light painting. I can get a little light on the subject. You hold it with one hand, works the camera with the other hand. It works really, really well. Now, I don't have a lot of amazing things to tell you about the Platypod Plot Plot because the reality is, it's very obvious exactly the way it works. By the way, one thing I do want to show you is that these legs, when they come out, they take a little while to, that's a long screw, they take a little while to, to come out. But once they come all the way out, they store right in that, which then you can twist and it pops right off if it's in the way. You've got room for all four of them right there. Um, the Platypod is a really great way of holding your uh, your camera down. Overall, this is a really good system. I have known people who screwed it onto the wall. It's got little slots right here. If you want to carry it along with you, you can put it over your belt. Um, you've got all of these little options here. It's tough. It's really hard to damage this thing. And it gives you a great platform to be shooting macro from. If you're shooting macro, you know you have to have an absolutely stable surface. If you move your camera lens just a little bit, just a couple of millimeters, sometimes you're going to blow an entire shot.
Now, I use this predominantly for working with small objects, and I used it this time with the Lawa lens, because the Lawa lens is kind of awkward to use. It's a little front heavy, and this made a great platform for the Lawa lens to be working with. You'll see it in the video that we've got of where I was shooting. I used it especially with, oh, tarantulas. I used it with small objects. I did all kinds of things because I've been just having a blast. So if you want to shoot some macro, you really ought to consider taking a look at the Platypod. They have several options running from just the Platypod platform all the way up to this full kit that I've got here right now. So take a look at it, see if it works for you.